Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're addressing a frustrating issue that many Android developers encounter. Our viewer is facing a problem with the positioning of the error indicator in their edit text when using a bottom sheet dialog. The viewer describes how, when they call edit text error, the error message appears misaligned as if the dialog thinks it's full screen. This issue persists across various devices and Android versions, making it a widespread concern. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. The issue you're experiencing with the edit text error indicator in your bottom sheet dialog is likely due to the layout parameters. Let's take a closer look at your dialog layout. In your dialog layout, you're using a constraint layout. However, the edit text's width is set to wrap content. This can cause issues with positioning. Let's change the width to match parent. Next, ensure that the bottom sheet dialog is properly constrained. You might want to add constraints to the edit text to ensure it behaves correctly within the bottom sheet. If the problem persists, consider wrapping your edit text in a scroll view. This can help manage the layout better, especially when the keyboard appears. Finally, test your changes on different devices to ensure consistent behavior. This should resolve the misalignment of the error indicator in your bottom sheet dialog. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To address the issue of edit text set error being out of place in bottom sheet dialog, you can use text input layout introduced in Android Lollipop. This provides a better way to display error messages. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To fix the issue with edit text set error in bottom sheet dialog, first add the design library to your Gradle dependencies, then use text input layout in your XML layout. And that's it, I hope that helps find the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.